Hello everyone and welcome to another WIST technology tutorial. In today's lesson I'm going to be talking about submission history in Google Classroom. Now if you've looked at the submission history um, you'll notice that it really only shows the submission history for particular assignments. So if I go into an existing assignment and go to my student and I see the submission history I'm not getting all of that student's work. I'm only getting the submission history for that particular assignment. Um, but the question keeps being asked, you know, is there a way for me to be able to see all of my students' submissions in one place? And I haven't been able to find a way to do that in Google Classroom, but there is kind of a neat workaround using Google Sites and awesome tables that will give you that information. So here's what I did. Uh, the first thing I did was I went to the file cabinet view uh, website and um, this is a great great documentation about how to set this up um, on your own. I made a copy of the spreadsheet which you'll see in a minute because the script actually comes with the spreadsheet. Um, then when I selected my folder I chose the classroom folder of my class. Okay, so what this is going to do is populate that spreadsheet with all of the files in that folder. Um, and what's really nice about this is one of the fields happens to be the owner of the document information. Um, and if you're clever and creative with the way you build your awesome table, you can actually filter that awesome table by owner. And when I say by owner, that means by student. So in essence, uh, you get a database of all of the Google documents in your Google Classroom in an easily filterable table. So, and here's what it looks like. I actually built one. It, it took literally seconds to do. Um, but now if I want to see every submission by student 20, I just filter by student 20, and I'm going to have their entire submission history here. And again, this is all because they are the designated owner of the document, and my spreadsheet is actually listing the owner information here. I also have editor information, which is not so useful for searching, but because um, I want to know just what I've returned uh, to my students, so they're the owners. So again, the, the way you do this is simply follow this tutorial, um, make adjustments to your awesome table, and create a private Google site that only you have access to, and this will allow you to filter that specific folder uh, by student, and you'll be able to see all of the submissions. So that's about it. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.